very simple step that can be done. It is also very important that you begin to bring community into your relationship. It is true that as two people, you will be able to make a lot happen. But without the support of a community, you can become very vulnerable and actually lose the vision of a community. Having been brought up in Africa and having been married in the traditional manner of uh, arranged marriage, for instance, I have found it excruciatingly painful to live in the West by myself with my partner, without a community, to try to hold a relationship together. Uh, needless to tell you that this relationship ended up being one of the most painful relationships I have ever been into and had actually created the, uh, the solution of that relationship because I did not have a community to support me. I did not have my village to let me know when I was faltering. I did not have my community to give me the praises to let me know when I was doing the right thing. So although in the Dagra tribe there is no divorce, the process of uh, not having a community to support us has actually taken us to a place where the whole relationship fell apart. So what I would like to suggest to you is that you surround yourself with people who would give you positive feedback and also would hold you to working on aspects of your relationships where you are not putting enough effort in. And so it's also very important for you to create rituals. Create ritual to celebrate your relationship. Create ritual to heal the broken parts of your relationship. Create ritual to give gratitude to anything. And so a relationship needs a ritual to hold it together and to make sure that it is functioning properly. And so the presence of spirit, of ritual, a community and your ability to open your heart and to share your deeper intimacy with the other person is very important. And so I encourage you to continue to search, to work on it, to not become desperate because you find relationship to be a time difficult. It is part of the learning process. It is part, as the Dago people say, of climbing the mountain together, knowing that there are other people supporting you, spirit as well as human. And it is just as important to remember that what you hold for this relationship is not just for the two of you but it is for the entire community and the world who benefit from such a relationship. So um, there's a lot of issues that we are having as far as relationship goes. Early on in this chapter three of Women's Wisdom from the Heart of Africa, our elder Sombonfu Somme talked about how important it is to remember why the two of you came together, that it is spirit that brought you together. And so spirit has to be at the center of your relationship, has to be at the beginning, has to be at the core of your relationship, has to be always present. You have to always invite spirit in. And see, this is why I think relationships fall apart because spirit didn't bring them together in the first place. 